to today's floating studio episode. Uh, this is Art by Anna Marie and I'm Anna Marie. Today I want to show you something really special that will really make your paint, your watercolour paintings pop. Let me just see where it is. My, my absolute favourite iridescent watercolour at the moment. It's a Mika Coloro pearlescent purple and I'm going to show you how to make a painting that in one set of light is grey and in the other set of light is purple so stay tuned for that. You can mix the Coloro Fine Tech Mika watercolour straight from the little circular tub that it comes from. I think it's actually better than trying to mix it separately. I've mixed it with other colours before and it still works out quite well but in this case I wanted to just use it solidly and plainly just to kind of really experiment for myself. I've had it for a little while and I wanted to see exactly what it could do. So I've started with some petals and quite a lot of water shifting the colour through the petals. So the first thing I did was used the Mika watercolour purple and then added some water to it. Then I put a little bit of my own blue watercolour pigment in and then lastly I mixed a little bit of gold with some water and um, put it right in the centre of the petals. And I'll show you at the end, that just looks really superb. You see each colour pigment floats and pushes the water at a different speed and a different rate. So you'll see that the gold actually travels really far. It stays on the surface and it really likes to travel through the whole image. I've added in a few leaves here to try to see what the green color would do against the purple as well. And um, I'm adding quite a bit of water once I put my, um, once I put the iridescent purple on the page here, I then go back and tip my brush in some water and that spreads out the pigment. And then I just dab the blue on. You see there how much the blue from the other painting has shifted. Now these cards are going to be presents, so I, as well as experimenting, I did actually want it to look quite nice. So again, I'm sticking with my, my rule of odd amounts of things. So I've got the three different flowers um, and I'm keeping an odd amount of leaves around the outside. These ones that I'm doing at the moment, they don't have the iridescent purple uh, Mika pigment on them and um, so I'm just spreading out that water a little bit with a darker blue and here's a close-up of the pigment before it's dried you can see the water's pushed it all to the edges so I absolutely love that look I think it looks really sparkly and beautiful I'm also going to show you now exactly what it looks like when it's dried I've taken a, another card and I've done two sets of cards. So here they are. And here it is. Let's try that again without the cat invasion. Not for you today. Not your episode. So here it is. I really want to try to get the angle right to show you this one. So excuse me for looking at away from you for a second. So in some lights, it's just blue and gray. So the, the Mika watercolor paints and then in other lights it's purple I'm a little bit in love with this watercolour um, yeah I hope you've enjoyed today's episode if you have give it a like 
If you want to have a look at the description of the video, I've put in a link to where I bought this watercolour. Um, this watercolour from Amazon and I have loved it. I only bought one because I wanted to try it. I was a little bit skeptical, but I do love it. Um, so click on that link if you want to purchase it again. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, so you don't get charged anything, but I might get a couple of P if you purchase it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.